When the narcissist feels your silence, the power of ignoring narcissists. Everyone, ever observe the pronounced extremity in the behavior of narcissists? They seamlessly transition from ignorance about your existence to an intense fascination with you, only to abruptly shift gears by withdrawing and ignoring you. The narcissistic tendency involves diverting attention away after investing substantial focus on an individual. Their objective is to unsettle and destabilize their companion, undermining their self-assurance and confidence. The narcissist aims to underscore a message regarding their own value, demonstrating that they can captivate your interest and then convincingly feign indifference. Their aspiration lies in creating a disconcerting atmosphere, anticipating a predictable reaction from you. When narcissists, in an abrupt fashion, disregard you, elicit the expected response, and observe you grappling with nervousness, questioning the situation, and pursuing an explanation, it serves as a regulating mechanism. This reinforces their self-esteem and grants them validation. The anticipated outcome involves inducing anxiety, stress, and concern, prompting specific actions from you to seek clarification. Typically, Narcissists achieve the desired response when employing this push and pull dynamic with their partner or supply. This tactic proves effective, and the cycle can persist for an extended period. However, what occurs when you deviate from the anticipated reaction? If, in response to their withdrawal and ignorance, you mirror their actions and carry on with your activities, they may initially assume you will eventually come back due to intense infatuation. Yet, what if there is no change? If you persist in maintaining distance and mirroring their behavior, the narcissist becomes perplexed, concerned, and experiences a decline in confidence, questioning their initial assessment. Is your interest perhaps not as fervent as they thought? Could there be a risk of losing you if they continue playing this game? Consequently, narcissists tend to reinitiate contact. They adopt a friendly demeanor, expressing keen interest in you, inquiring about your well-being with phrases like, Hey, stranger, how have you been? Where have you been? Why haven't you called? Why haven't you reached out? It's as if they hadn't previously taken actions to ignore you. This strategic approach enables them to assess your response, probing for signs of nervousness or a lack of commitment on your part. They seek to gauge your level of interest, and if it appears insufficient, they intensify their efforts in love bombing, dedicating more time and attention to captivate your interest once again. This cycle allows them to withdraw once more, deriving satisfaction from the discomfort they instigate. Worry and concern assail you as they persist, fueling the unsettling question. What if this repetitive cycle continues? What if, when faced with their indifference, you stand your ground and reciprocate the disregard? Picture them attempting to distance themselves, only for you to draw even further away. Surprisingly, if the narcissist perceives you as a valuable source, this reversal can prompt an obsession, as though you're outplaying them at their own game. How is that possible? They possess more cunning in game than you. Or so it seems. You acknowledge their prowess while recognizing your lack thereof. Yet you're somehow gaining the upper hand leaving them bewildered because they approached you with the assumption that you would be the one yearning for them more than vice versa. However, events don't unfold according to their expectations. If you adopt a stance of ignoring, mirroring, and perhaps intensifying it beyond their actions, narcissists often find themselves ruminating, pondering, what's amiss with this person? Why aren't they conforming to my expectations? This triggers a blend of anger and dread toward you further intensifying their focus on you. In a fascinating twist, narcissists can become more entangled with their chosen supply than the supply is with them, especially when the supply adeptly mirrors their tactics. When you effectively mirror a narcissist, they become captivated, attempting to decipher your strategy and identify their blind spots. Narcissists, accustomed to confidence and victory, struggle to comprehend deviations from their anticipated success. Mirroring the narcissist becomes a potent tool, though one must exercise caution and avoid protracted engagement in such games.
Encountering unexpected resistance from someone underestimated or taken for granted sparks contemplation in a narcissist about the unconventional nature of your behavior, pondering your unpredictability, questioning your deviation from the norm, and even wondering if you share similarities with them becomes inevitable for them. When a supply deviates from the anticipated, predictable script, narcissists become hooked and obsessed. The supply transforms into an enigma, displaying a resilience beyond expectations. This deviation prompts the narcissist to invest emotional energy in attempting to decipher and possibly manipulate the situation. In grappling incessantly with these thoughts, the narcissist unknowingly invests emotional energy in someone who, in an unexpected turn, gains the upper hand in their intricate game. To avoid inadvertently intensifying the narcissist's emotional investment, it's crucial to refrain from engaging in games that resemble seeking retribution or administering a dose of their own medicine. To prevent complications during eventual detachment, it is advisable to distance yourself without providing much fodder for contemplation, allowing them to naturally move on. Excessive involvement in the push-pull dynamic, even if successful, proves counterproductive for your well-being. Winning in this context complicates the detachment process as the narcissist remains fixated on you, introducing toxicity into your life. Navigating the complexities of detachment requires a nuanced understanding of the psychological dynamics at play. Recognizing that detachment is not solely about physical separation, but involves a strategic and subtle emotional disengagement is crucial. By maintaining a sense of emotional independence, you not only safeguard your mental health, but also disrupt the narcissist's expectations, rendering their attempts at manipulation less effective. This strategic approach allows you to reclaim control over your narrative and encourages the narcissist to redirect their focus elsewhere. Furthermore, it's essential to cultivate a support network and seek guidance during the detachment process. Understanding the psychological toll of dealing with a narcissist and acknowledging the need for emotional support can be empowering. Whether through therapy, counseling, or confiding in trusted friends and family, building a robust support system provides a foundation for healing and growth. As you embark on this journey of detachment, remember that prioritizing your well-being is not only a personal victory, but a testament to your resilience and strength. Recognize that mirroring the narcissist's behavior, especially when they attempt to play the ignoring game, is an effective strategy. Resisting the temptation to seek their attention again is crucial, as it can lead to undesirable consequences. When entangled with someone playing mind games, promptly navigate your way out of such dynamics to maintain a healthy state. As soon as you identify a toxic individual, plan your escape without prolonged adherence to the unhealthy dynamic. Acknowledge their mindset, characterized by a constant need for victory and unwavering confidence. Faced with unexpected outcomes, their hyperfocus and inability to reconcile create mental turmoil. Understand that, regardless of their pursuit later on, maintaining your distance signifies your liberation from their influence. Sending positive energy, a virtual hug, and all the love in the world your way. Blessings to you. I love you and look forward to our conversation tomorrow. Wishing you a fantastic day. Farewell.